f of x equals x cube minus 5x square minus 8x by 3. It's positive and monotonically increasing, negative and monotonically increasing, negative and monotonically increasing, positive and monotonically increasing. Oh, this is monotonically increasing. This is continuously increasing. Something like this. Monotonically decreasing. It's a curve like this. And monotonically is monotone, single tone. It's only increasing. It's not increasing and decreasing. A curve like this will not be called monotonically increasing or monotonically decreasing. Continuously increasing is monotonically increasing. Continuously decreasing is con monotonically decreasing. Anytime you are given a polynomial, the best starting point is going to be roots. Luckily, one of the roots is zero. So let's start with that. X equal to zero works. And so, so I'm going to factorize this. Forget this by three. Doesn't matter. So this is x into x square minus 5x minus 8. As it turns out, this cannot be factorized. And so, so we have to think about completing the square. So we can think about x square minus 5x plus 5 by 2 whole square 25 by 4 minus 25 by 4 minus 8. This x minus 5 by 2 the whole square equals 32 by 4 plus 25 by 4 or x minus 5 by 2 the whole square is 57 by 4 x minus 5 by 2 is plus or minus root 57 by 2 or x is 5 plus root 57 by 2 or 5 minus root 57 by 2 so there are three roots for this equation 0 5 plus root 57 by 2 5 minus root 57 by 2 I'm going to draw these 0 5 plus root 57 by 2 Then 5 minus root 57 by 2. Root 57 by 2. 3. 5 plus root 57 by 2. 5 minus root 57 by 2. This is 5 by 2 sitting here. Fine. So 5 minus root 57. Root 57 is more than 7, less than 8. So it will be a negative number. So somewhere here. Wonderful. Now this curve, if we manage to draw a curve for this, is going to be 0 in these points. Now this x cube will dominate as we go to higher and higher numbers. So from here on it's going to increase. If you put 100 it will be a large number. If you put 1000 it will be an even bigger number. Fine. Now between these two roots it's going to be negative. This, when you subtract this, will, this term will be negative, these two are positive. Here it's going to be positive. This side is going to be negative. Or it's going to be a curve. Like this. Once you've got this, after this it's just a function of figuring out from the answer choices which one works best. This is a beautiful curve that we've got. Now we look at the choices and say monotonically increasing, monotonically decreasing. So this decreases from some point here to some point here. Increases from here on up increasing from here to this point here to this point here it is negative here it is positive look at the answer choices see which one fits negative and monotonically increasing for from minus infinity to 5 minus root 57 by 2 correct here it is negative and continuously increasing and positive and monotonically increasing for 5 plus root 57 by 2 5 plus root 57 whole by 2 onwards yeah that's also correct whatever choice this is option c that fits best 